And just about a year ago, a tornado spawned by the remnants of Hurricane Ida ripped through parts of Annapolis and left destruction behind in its wake. And I picked her up and I was coming here to have an ice cream for her. And I was just about to get here. There is a uh, Exxon gas station where they're going to stop to put some gas. And then all of a sudden... That is a tornado. You feel this wind and like horses racing. And we got into the car and we just went down the head and probably lasted 25, 30 seconds. Walter Vasquez, owner of the Annapolis Latino Market, recalls what he saw and experienced that day. We never found the AC compressor. He is one of many residents near West Street that were affected by the devastating tornado. This side, the whole thing was done. The devastation was so great that not only was Mayor Gavin Buckley there, but also Governor Larry Hogan. How many people you have out all together? The governor then asked Walter, what's next? I told him, look, um, we are immigrants. We've seen it worst. So this one is a bump in the road. Tomorrow we'll be back up and working on this. And I promise you, I will open it. And while the Annapolis Latino market is just days away from reopening, we're shooting for the 8th to the 10th of next month. Others in the past are still not fully back. It took us a long time to sort of uh, get um, that area back on its feet. And even to this day, uh, you can see twisted roofs on some of the buildings. But the city and county were nothing but helpful to businesses and families that had endured damage during that event, according to Walter. They were all here offering the help. Till to now, this not would be possible without the city and their officials and the county help. It would never be open again. Not only has the city made efforts to have easily available funds for residents next time disaster strikes, but they are also investing millions in raising the city docks to combat, combat flooding as well. Jamie?